Hi, Justin from Bikini Designs. Welcome to the channel. In this episode, it's all about fridges. So we've got four fridges we're going to be looking at today, from entry level all the way to the larger, more expensive models. We're going to be looking at their form and function, their sizes, their weights, and quite importantly, their price as well. Unfortunately, I don't own all these fridges. I own the Bear Mac fridge, which we'll be touching on very shortly. Um, these ARB fridges were kindly sent to me um, by Douglas Motors for filming purposes, so thank you very much for them. If you haven't heard of them, go and check them out. I'll put a link down in the description. Not only is it a really nice website, um, but it's a fully kitted out um, shop with all ARB and loads of 4x4 accessories. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first lady for a shave is the Bear Mac fridge. Now in terms of um, entry level, this is probably the entry level fridge that I was speaking about earlier. That's in terms of price. However, um, its forms and functions, it has a temperature range of down to minus 26. I'm not sure why you want to go that low, um, but it has that function, which is pretty nice to know. Um, it works pretty, pretty well for what it is. Um, it has a lid that can be opened in three different ways. One from either side and it can be completely removed um, if necessary. Um, quite easy to use, pretty simple. Um, the weight of the fridge is about 20 kilograms um, dry weight. Um, it has two separate compartments, one for fresh produce um, to the front of the fridge, and you've got for the remaining contents, which has a removable basket and a divider, which is quite nice. Um, on the other side, it has a drain plug, as most fridges do has two USB ports on the front for charging mobile phones. I will point out though, it's only one amp, so the, the charging speeds will be pretty low. Um, the actual power inlet is 12 volt DC and 240 volt AC as well, so you get those two adapters, so you can use this in a fixed uh, location if you've got you know, power supply. Um, there's only one power entry, so just bear that in mind. Um, you do have a decent run of cable, and another thing to bear in mind is if you do put this on a fridge slide that the cable doesn't catch on any of the draw runners get caught anywhere, get snagged um, so just bear that one in mind it has pretty decent handles to carry and also to use as tie down points which I've done on my draw slide overall it is a pretty decent fridge um, it's a 60 litre fridge in terms of internal capacity uh, the price that we paid for was £360 and that came with obviously the protective case which is again it helps with the efficiency of the fridge. So the next one on the list is the ARB Series 2, the classic range. Um, slightly updated colours, I think the previous was a light grey and a blue, this one is more of a dark grey and a bronze colour so it's quite nice. Um, same sort of functions as the Bear Mac, you've got the nice sort of handles, front and rear, and you've got the, the mounting points which you can tie down. Um, has an open lid which can be opened from the front of the fridge. The only thing it doesn't have sort of a stay along with the sort of the entry and mid-range fridges. Um, you have to make sure that you just keep that fridge, otherwise you're going to bang your fingers. Um, it has two compartments. You've got one to the rear of the fridge which is for your fresh produce. Um, one in the front is your basket, which is quite nice with a nice neat divider. So there's plenty of space there for loads of stuff in your fridge. Keep it nice and fresh. The temperature range goes down to negative 18, which is pretty decent uh, for a fridge of this size. It has obviously battery connect. Uh, another cool feature is the 12 to, and 24 volt um, internal um, settings. So basically if you plug it into either of those 12 or 24 volt, it will automatically recognize that and switch between the voltage and function as normal, which is quite nice depending on what vehicle you have. That also is, um, can be plugged into 240 volt mains. Again, so if you're running that from a um, mains connection, um, you've got that option as well. So with the fridge, it comes with the fridge um, freezer app connect which is a really nice way to monitor not only the temperatures of your fridge you can also change the temperatures on the fly um, and it's compatible with the ALB link system which will be coming up in a future video you can have a look at that so the internal capacity is 47 liters um, slightly smaller than my Bear Mac fridge but still it's plenty of room for all your stuff in there for a nice camping trip on the way on the weekend um, the weight of the actual fridge is 20 kilos, so again, pretty, pretty much in the same ballpark figures as the Bear Mac. Um, overall quality is pretty damn good. 
Um, the price comes in at a cool £825 um, for this particular fridge. So the next fridge on the list is the ALB Elements fridge. Now this is an absolute cracker of a fridge. Fits nicely on the draw stride. Hey babe, fits nice eh? Uh, full stainless steel construction comprising of ABS durable plastic which is UV resistant so it is made to be outdoors so if you don't have a canopy you just have a, a basic a tub or a tray back this is basically in its best environment is out in the elements so it's full waterproof so you don't have to worry about any rain the actual lid itself is held closed by two durable aluminium clasps opens all the way up and is held up by a nice gas strut so when you're getting uh, contents out of your fridge uh, you don't have to worry about the actual lid coming back down and obviously banging your fingers. It has a really nice sizable basket to hold all your, your contents of your fridge. And another cool feature is the fridge is actually lockable as well with a, the keypad. So you've got a pin and a locking uh, clasp up on the left hand corner here. And if you don't want to use the, the actual pin code, you can also um, utilize the padlock locking area. So if you want to keep any prying hands out of your fridge away from your magnum ice creams you can do that. So the fridge comes in at 32 kilograms at dry weight. Uh, so just bear that in mind um, along with the construction that hence why it weighs pretty much that amount of weight. Um, it is 60 liters in capacity which is quite pretty good for a, a nice sort of sized family out camping. Keep you guys sort of uh, fed for the weekend. The power rating is anything from 12 volt to 24 volt DC, also compatible with a mains power which is 240 volt. Um, so you have that functionality which is really really nice. Another cool feature, it is uh, Bluetooth compatible. So with the ALB Link system, the ALB Fridge Connect, you can monitor everything on the fly, do anything um, in terms of changing the temperatures which goes down to negative um, 18. Um, which is pretty cool, um, which is a really, really nice feature about the fridge. Please, babe, can we have this fridge? Please, please. Um, so the price of this fridge comes in at a cool £1,300 um, for the AOB Elements fridge. Um, no. <laughs> Just composing myself because I can't have the Elements fridge. But anyway. Introducing the AOB Zero fridge. Now this is one of their new lineups. Really nice fridge overall in terms of cosmetics and finish. Um, this is the larger one on the market which is the 96 litre. And this is a true dual zone fridge freezer. Compared to the other fridges which are only, you have to choose between either having fridge or freezer. This has the capabilities of doing both at the same time which is a really nice feature. So, as you can see, each compartment, you have the uh, fridge compartment, which has two baskets, which has a nice divider, which you can open and close. The freezer comprises of a really large basket, which is, again, is removable. And the lids themselves as well, so if you want to change the orientation of the actual the lids in any way, these lids can basically pop off and you can change the, the orientation of opening the lids either from that side or this side, which is a pretty cool feature. So around the front of the fridge, obviously you've got your, your control panel, very easy to set up and use. You've got a USB port, which is a three amp um, charge on your mobile phones compared to the Bear Mac, which is only a one amp, so it's way more efficient for charging your devices. Um, it is also 12 volt and 24 volt um, compatible, so it has automatic switching between the two, so it can detect um, obviously the, the change in voltage and it will, will function to suit that particular voltage. Um, it also mains compatible as well. Um, again, it's a great feature, so if you've got a connection to the mains, you can run the fridge off that. All the Zero fridges come with Bluetooth capabilities, which connect to the ALB Connect app. Um, or the ALB link system and again you can change and you can monitor everything on the fly which is a really nice feature about the fridges um, changing the temperatures and monitoring the the supply of the fridge um, all the, the draw all that kind of stuff which is really really nice feature so the ALB guys really think about their products in terms of functionality and all this kind of range of things that uh, they can offer their clients. Um, the actual weight of the fridge comes in at 36 kilos of dry weight, so it is a hefty fridge. It is pretty big. As you can see, I haven't put it in the back um, because it is just that big of a fridge. And I'll, you, you probably, 
understand why this is probably not suited for the rear of a tub. It can be used for the rear of a vehicle if you so choose, um, but it's probably best suited for either a trailer or a camper van, something where you've got loads of space um, because of the size of it, it, it takes up a lot of room. And the actual functions of the um, control panel, if the control panel fails in any way, you have an emergency override switch, which is a nice feature. So if uh, um, that does fail at any point, if you're out in the bush or out somewhere remote, um, then you'll be pleased to know that the fridge will still keep your, your food nice and cold, which is a, a really cool feature. And again, it has obviously a, a tie-down point where you can lock it down uh, temporarily, or you can even do it permanently. There is a mounting plate underneath where you can bolt everything together, which is a really nice feature. So the overall capacity internally is 96 litres of fridge-freezer capabilities. Um, another cool little thing that we've noticed is the actual rubberized top on the lids so you can put your drinks on there so you can actually remove the fridge if you do and then uh, use it as like a mini table in, around your camp and you can just hook that up to like a portable um, battery system if you have that um, and the overall price of a fridge like this is 1300 pound hence obviously the size of it 96 liters when you compare that to elements fridge which is pretty much the same price it just shows you the differences in obviously functionality um, from the fridges it will justify the price of a fridge like this so hopefully that video has been insightful to you guys and provided you with loads of information to make a choice on what particular fridge might suit your budget or your particular needs. If you have any questions regarding the ARB range of fridges, please get in touch with Douglas Motors. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions for me, please let me know again. Um, and if you are interested in ARB products um, from Douglas Motors, don't forget to hit Makina 10 in the checkout for get, to get 10% off. It obviously helps you, it helps me, it helps Douglas. Um, without further ado, we will definitely see you in the next one. Babe, please, please, babe, please, please.